Yo, yo, yo. It's Joe from Photos with Fans. This morning, we are here in my car at 5.45 in the morning to test iMStick, the magnetic smartphone holder from the stick company. They argue that their product gets rid of the need for a traditional tripod because it just sticks to things. No more need for a tripod. You just stick this on it and then it's done. So let's see. I'm gonna attach it to my car and then we'll drive and we'll see if, we'll see how it works. So yeah, let's do it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there and turn on that notification bell. We come out with a lot of great stuff that we would like you to see. We'll start the shindig off by just showing you how to put the I'm stick together. The first two things that you're gonna see are the little legs that allow it to do its tripody things. Now you're going to see the little cloth that it comes with. It also has the four steps on how to put the I'm stick together, which is nice. Here is the body of the I'm stick, and you just shove the little legs through there. Now this is the little magnetic sticker that stickers to both your phone and to the magnetic thing that allows the I'm stick to like do what it does. That's why there's two of them. Let's go ahead and put it together. We've waited too long. The first step in the process is to choose whether you're going to put the first magnet directly on your phone or on the phone case. I chose the phone case because I always shoot with a moment lens, so it just made sense for me. Once you're finished wiping off your whatever surface you'll be using, you just go ahead and attach one of your magnets to that, and then you attach the other magnet to the that thing. <laughs> and then you're ready to rock and roll. The only thing that else that you need to do is attach those tripod legs and note that that quarter inch mount is great for mounting on traditional tripods. So, in the end, what's our opinion of iMStick? Well, it does not get rid of the need for a phone tripod, but it does clarify that there was never a need for pop sockets to be invented. My main qualm with the iMStick after I spent about an hour and a half this morning doing some shooting with it is that the, mag the magnet really only allows you to connect it in one direction. So if I have a magnetic surface that's up against a wall, I can't connect it because then the camera is pointing at the wall. Uh, and there's, there's no way to really flip it around unless you're willing to use your front camera instead of your rear camera. 
I don't want to do that because the quality from the front camera on every phone on the market is not as good as that of the rear camera. Um, so, like, I, maybe the I'm stand that the stick company makes to accompany the I'm stick would allow me to kind of like attach to whatever the surface is and then like turn it around. Um, but the stick company only sent me the I'm stick. So I'm stuck with just using the I'm stick. If you catch my wordplay. I'm also stupid for saying that joke. <laughs> just to clarify, I do think that there is a time and place where the I'm stick is more effective than a cheap phone tripod selfie stick kind of deal. Um, the ability to have something magnetically attached to your phone that's also magnetic that you can just slap on things is kind of an invaluable tool to have. Um, in my experience, however, the features of the I'm stick, aside from the magnetic circular little pad thing, they just don't quite work as well as advertised. Um, from my experience, the little bendy legs were kind of a pain. Um, and I found that anytime I tried to just use the legs to kind of like hang my phone from something, um, the legs weren't strong enough to really do what it is that I needed them to do. Um, if I had something magnetically attached and I just wanted to provide a little bit of extra stability, then those legs were great, but otherwise, pretty much not that great. <laughs> now, other people that have reviewed the I'm Stick have showed you all of the fancy things you can do as far as allowing your phone's camera to attach to traditional photography equipment. Um, I sort of feel that if you need traditional photography equipment to make your product work, then you're kind of undermining the claims that you're making. Um, so I really just tried to see what the I'm stick could do straight out of the packaging without any sort of additional assistance. Um, and what I found is that the I'm stick, as I've mentioned multiple times in this outro, <laughs> it certainly has its uses. Does it replace the need for a phone tripod? No. Will I use the I'm stick again? Yes. So, there you have it kind of useful sometimes <laughs> alrighty at the end of the day should you be picking up your own I'm stick from the stick company I suppose the biggest question that I have for you is do you currently have a pop socket on your phone if the answer is yes then take it off throw it away and get an I'm stick if you are thinking about getting an I'm stick to replace your phone tripod, it's not going to do that. Just get that through your head. Um, it, it has its uses, but it does not fully replace a tripod. Um, I would also say that if you are going to get the I'm stick, you should go ahead and get the I'm stand. I can't definitively say that it solves all of the problems that I experienced this morning, but just using a little bit of logic and common sense, based on the design, it should. So yeah, at the end of the day, I'm Stick is not going to replace your phone tripod. It's definitely better than a pop socket. And if you're going to get one, you should go ahead and get the eye stand as well. Yeah. That's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and drop a like on the video. It just helps YouTube allow people to see photos with phones as content. And that's pretty awesome. Go ahead and comment down below if you are using a pop socket, if you have some other type of universal smartphone mount holder, whatever it is, the terminology is a little ambiguous. I'm just curious as to what you're using to 
touch of other things. Go ahead and subscribe to Photos with Photos' YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell because we come out with weekly mobile photography and videography tips, tricks, hacks, unboxings, reviews, everything in between. There are too many things that we do to simply list them, so just subscribe and see what it's all about. That's all I got for you. Toodles. See you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.